Mm-hmm. You watch Disney Channel Holiday Preview. Up next is Lunchbox, followed by Babar the Movie. And after that, The Grinch Grinches the Cat in Hat. To bed. Only on Disney Channel. Mm-hmm. Disney Channel. America's Family Network.
Thank you, George. Thank you for saving the people from our runaway campers said the man who had been in such a hurry. Next time, I'll stop rushing and be more careful. All the people at the curb thanked George, too. I'm so glad you're safe, George, said the man with the yellow hat. Now we can begin our trip. George and the man with the yellow hat <coughs> Say the magic words, he pronounced. Abracadabra. Hey, Presto. Bravo, called Mr. Cooper. Very good, remarked Mr. Carey grudgingly. All done by sleight of paw, of course, but very good for a bear. What's he doing with my daffodils? asked Mr. Brown. Shh, Henry, said Mrs. Brown. I think he's about to do another trick. Well, I wish he'd hurry up. Mr. Cully, I shall have another biscuit while I'm waiting. Uh, do you think young Mr. Brown's all right? asked Mr. Brother. He's been alone not for a long time, Mr. No, cried Paddington. I'm not. It's all dark, and I can't read my instructions. I think I'd better try my watch trick instead. Good, said Mr. Cully. I'm fed up with seeing things disappear. I could borrow your wristwatch, Mr. Carey. You did say you wanted to see a new trick, said Judy. And you're the only person wearing one. Don't worry, Mr. Carey, said Paddington. It's all in my instructions now. I cover it with the handkerchief, so, and I hit it with the hammer. Oh. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. What do you mean, oh, dear? What's gone wrong? Yeah. Paddington consulted his instructions. As he did so, he saw the ominous words, For this trick, it is necessary to use a dummy watch. I think I forgot to say abracadabra, Mr. Cully, he said. Abracadabra? I'll give you abracadabra. That was a very valuable watch. Twenty jewels. Shockproof. It doesn't look very shockproof to me, said Mr. Brown. And it's certainly not that valuable, said Mr. Brown. I remember selling it to you five years ago, and you didn't pay much for it then. I think I found one of the jewels, Mr. Curry, cried Paddington excitedly. One of the jewels, bellowed Mr. Curry. What about the other nineteen? Bah! I've never been so insulted in my life. What's this? I'm sitting on something sticking. Oh dear, said <coughs> That's my disappearing egg. It must have really been. Perhaps, said Mr. Curry. You ought to disappear for a while, Mr. Brown. While you're gone, I'll get Mr. Curry another watch. I've a whole box full in my shop. Thank you very much, Mr. Curry, said Paddington. 
That sounds a really good idea. I don't think I shall reappear again in a long time. the owls, and he wondered why they did not quarrel. Why is it that they are so happy, he said. The rooster suggested, why don't you visit the owls? Ask them how they can live together so peacefully. The peacock said, very well, I shall. chickens, the ducks, the geese, and all the others were assembled. The owls began their story. When spring comes, we are happy to see everything come to life. After the long winter sleep, the trees put forth their buds and leaves. The meadows are covered with thousands of tiny flowers, and birds everywhere are singing merrily. Later, around every flower, bumblebees are buzzing, and all kinds of butterflies are dancing. to and fro, gathering honey from the golden sunflowers. Then we know that summer is here. And when everything is green and growing, and the trees nod their leafy crowns to us in the warm sunshine, we sit in a shady nook in the cool forest and are at peace with the world. spider who has waited through the glorious summer under a leaf comes
comes out and spins her web to hold up the tired leaves a little longer. We rejoice to see her. And finally, when all the leaves are fallen and the earth is covered with snow, we come back and are cozy in our old home. For winter is here again. What nonsense! screamed the chickens, the ducks, the peacock, and the geese. Shut up. 
carriage. I never thought anyone would find me. And I didn't like being alone. And he leans on the bed as they make their way back to his home. The gypsy woman's been delighted to see her young nephew's been found. And a while they bruised angle, it's perfectly safe and sound. She thanks Rupert for all he's done and asks if he'd like to stay the tea. I can't, he says. I've got to find my friends who are hiding from me. Well, I'll help to find your chance for you, she says, putting on a shoe. And one by one, Rupert sees them appear in a magic crystal ball. They're still waiting for me to find them, he says. They haven't gone. I bet they're wondering why it's taking me so long. Saying goodbye, he goes to find his chance, and Edward's the first he spies. I've got cramp waiting for you, Rupert, the little elephant sighs. Sorry, Edward, he says, as he spots Rex and Reggie, and just a few months later, the little pug out here. Why is it taking you so long? they ask, leaving their hiding places. He can see they're very upset by the look on their faces. So he tells them how he found the lost gypsy boy with the help of the crystal ball. And smiling, they agree. He's best at hide and seek after all. Disappeared from the village towards Will's home with a big 
The happy hours a West Ham would be released. A West Ham would be released. 1989. West Ham would West Ham Studios. All right, sir. Rupert and make express news appearance 1989. Nineteen eighty nine, the Walt Disney Company. Mm -hmm. 